What's the future of financial modeling in an AI powered world? I'm going to upload an LBO template to ChatGPT and ask it to explain it to me. This is a model that's very common in private equity, so let's see what happens. So let's quickly attach the file, LBO case study. So it's quickly providing an overview of the workbook. We're getting detail on each of the tabs. Not much analysis, but this is still interesting. If you work in the industry, you share these workbooks and you get on a phone call and someone has to walk you through it. And if it's messy, this can take hours. And here we have a really clean outline. All right, let's take it a step further and ask it about exit analysis. Can you explain the exit analysis worksheet? I wouldn't say that's very helpful. Let's try again. Let's try what is the purpose of the exit analysis worksheet? All right, this is a little more interesting. I don't know that it's specific to this workbook, but if you were completely new to private equity, you'd have a pretty good overview of what's happening on this worksheet. So let's ask it something specific about this Excel file. Is this a good investment for the limited partners? So again, if you are new to private equity, this would give you a lot of things to pay attention to. The vocabulary might be new, but it's giving context to something that's really difficult to decipher otherwise. For comparison, this is the file it's talking about. If you were new to finance and private equity, this would be a lot to try and understand all at once. But at least here you have an explanation. What I find really interesting about this is how man and machine will work together. I was recently reading about AI beating humans in chess and video games. Once AI could beat humans, they started pairing humans with machines. And what they quickly realize is that it equals the playing field. An expert playing a novice unaided is going to crush the novice. But if both of them have access to AI, the likelihood of the less talented player winning starts to increase dramatically. And at least according to some studies I've read, if you have that basic knowledge of the fundamentals, creativity starts to matter more. But finance is really interesting because people bend the rules. For so long as fortunes are tied to financial performance, you're going to have people that try to manipulate financial performance. And if these AI engines and models can be manipulated, I still think you'll have to have a thorough understanding of the fundamentals. One other thing I'm pretty curious about is this concept of a black box. Something you feed inputs, you get an output, you trust it, move on. So much of financial modeling is mostly about communication. People want to see the model to understand how you're arriving at your result. So even if the mechanical skill set changes, and we never have to build these wildly detailed models, which that would be incredible. I think the frameworks we use today will probably still be common because people will want the ability to confirm the work, no matter who's doing it or what's doing it, which is why I think knowledge of the fundamentals in any industry is just so important. And I really appreciate how Shane Parrish articulates this in clear thinking. And I'll just read this part real quick. He says, most people are chasing complexity. They learn the basics enough to be average. Then look for the secret, shortcut, or hidden knowledge. Mastering the basics is the key to being ruthlessly effective. The basics might seem simple, but that doesn't mean they're simplistic. The best in the world don't have some secret, shortcut, or hidden knowledge. They merely understand the fundamentals better than others. I've always thought that the best way to teach finance and financial modeling is to strip a financial model down to its most core components. With a firm grasp of the fundamentals, it's easy to add detail. And in an AI-powered future, I don't even know if we have to. Like, fingers crossed. Here's what I don't understand. This video was originally unscripted and I had to come back with a new shirt, new thoughts. I can't currently imagine how AI would recreate some of this detail especially in the lower middle market and middle market where I've spent most of my career. And here's why. From what I understand, AI systems are like savants. They need stable structures and narrow worlds. And it takes armies of people to train these systems. They're called annotators. And they work in secrecy on projects with code names under massive contracts. Massively expensive contracts, I should say. But with very low hourly wages for all the people doing this annotating and labeling. And they're identifying everything. In pictures, is it a blue shirt with white stripes or a white shirt with blue stripes? They label food so smart refrigerators don't get confused. Even the emotional content for TikTok videos. If you can imagine, I hope they don't have to do this one. And these contracts are wildly expensive because you have to employ hundreds if not thousands of people to do all of this labeling. So genuine question, does this combination of untrained labor work for really detailed financial models? Line items in a financial model are not fruits in a refrigerator. So how does that process translate to detailed modeling exercises for companies across industries? I've just been having a hard time picturing it. I can imagine a computer developing a debt schedule, for example. But will it be able to organize thousands of line items when each business is unique? And secondly, does the economic model work if you have to hire so many trained annotators? In the previous example, we were talking about people making somewhere between two and eight dollars an hour. And I just don't know if that works here. Every time I build a model fully from scratch, it rarely looks like a model I built previously. And I'm also generally pulling from multiple data sources. To this day, I still encounter some businesses that have some aspect of their business on a paper system. So as I understand it currently, you have these two very different systems. AI requires a heavily annotated database to excel, and humans' greatest strength is the opposite. It's the ability to integrate more broadly. 
So how does this mechanical skill set evolve? Again, I'd love to have AI build all models in the future and spend most of my time teaching the fundamentals and how to work with AI. But I wanted to make this video to understand what people think the future of financial modeling education looks like. If you've been studying this, please let me know. In your opinion, what is the future of financial modeling in an AI-powered world?